Hello, Dr. Mintz here. This is a pretty straightforward case. I'm just going to go through the kidneys here. Whoops. Or I thought I was. Look at those nice little pearls in the gallbladder. Go through the kidneys, and yes, there's one abnormality. And what is that abnormality? It is a renal cyst. And it's pretty boring, pretty mundane. We see them all the time, but important to see its characteristics. Look at the acute angle. Look how sharp and acute an angle the renal cortex forms around a cyst. Notice how there's no enhancement of the cyst. Notice that you don't, at least initially, see IV contrast accumulating. You don't get contrast opacification in the cyst, or at least not initially. Look at the attenuation here, 3.5 Hounsfield units. So very low attenuation, uniformly low attenuation. Let's see what it is here, 4.5. Okay, so pretty consistently, look, 2.8, pretty consistent, 3.2. Okay, so very consistently low attenuation in the low single digits, and that's typical of a cyst. Let's look at it in the coronal plane. This is an example, and this is important. This is very common. We see this a lot. Sharp margin between the renal cortex and this mass, this cyst. This is a kind of lesion you can look at and say, it's a simple cyst. Leave it. If you want to Believe any concern you have, if any doubt, you can always get an ultrasound pretty cheap and pretty quick. But this is pretty straightforward, a large renal cyst. Okay, look at the nice corticomedullary differentiation. Look how the renal cortex is enhancing, but the renal medulla is not enhancing or not much. And remember, that's because what is in the renal cortex the glomeruli and the renal contrast or the uh, CT contrast we use is secreted, excreted by glomerular filtration. So initially, all of the contrast that comes to the kidney comes out through the glomeruli and therefore in the cortex. So nice depiction of that. How about Let's just see if we can see renal arteries and veins here. Okay, we're aorta, first thing coming off. There, that's the second, so it's SMA. All right, so here we go. Here's the aorta. Right renal artery, left renal artery. As simple as that. Should go behind the IVC. And left renal vein, right renal vein. This is a nice, clean-cut, normal look at that. Left renal vein right renal vein, both coming into the IBC. That is as good an example of that as you'll ever see. And then down a little bit lower, right renal artery, left renal artery. So good example of how to find the renal arteries and renal veins, and that's very important because you may see something here and want to know if it's affecting the artery or if it's a calcification, if it's an arterial calcification as opposed to something else. So good to be able to identify a vessel as to whether it's renal artery or vein. Never forget our little friends, the adrenal glands. Here they are. A little pudgy, a little thick, but that's normal. That looks within normal limits, as we say. Okay, great case of a renal cyst.